A typical Streamlit application does not have a navigation bar, which will typically be at the top along with the logo. And so the only navigation bar that you could do is probably a drop down menu, which I have shown in a prior video. And so I'll provide you the link in the video description. And so I have always pondered the possibility on whether we could add navigation bars to Streamlit. For example, in the web application that I have developed previously, using the R Shiny package. It comes pre-equipped with this navigation bar where it uses the boot swatch theme. And so I was thinking, is it possible to have a similar navigation bar here, but then in the Streamlit application? And so the hope for this was made possible by Charlie over at Streamlit because the other day I saw this tweet of his and then I noticed that he had this bar of buttons at the top. And so I sent him a direct message asking how he did this match. And within a few minutes, he sent over his code and then he tweeted about it where he generously provided and shared his code here in this image. And as you can see here, he made use of the st.markdown function, which uses pure markdown. And so the images that you see here are done using markdown syntax, where he specified the URL of the image and then the corresponding link to it upon clicking on the image. And so this got me thinking, what if we use the stdart markdown, but instead of the markdown syntax that we use here, what if we use some HTML? Would it generate the navigation bar? And so I head over to the Bootstrap website and then I went to the documentation and then I searched for the nav bar. And then I looked through the example code that they have here. And then I tried copying some of the example code and then pasting it into the st.markdown as shown here. And so let me show you. So I created another file, which is right here. So the original file, this one, will give rise to this particular Streamlit application. But let me add the HTML from Bootstrap website. And so I add it here in lines four and on line six through 26. So lines four, I added this particular CSS file, the bootstrap.min.css. And so it will download the style sheet. And then line six through 26, it will be the code for the actual navigation bar. And so let's run this code. Let's stop the prior app and then run the navigation bar version. Streamlit run app underscore navbar dot py. And wait just a moment. And here you go. You see that the navigation bar is now at the top, right? And this is the dropdown as originally provided by Streamlit. It's left intact here. And you'll notice that we have top navigation bar. So mission accomplished. Now we could add navigation bar in Streamlit application. And so in this particular tutorial, the links that we have here will be linked externally. So upon clicking on it, it will open up a new tab for example, to my YouTube channel or to my Twitter page. But instead of the links to an external website, you could also add links to another Streamlit page, whereby you could have page one, page two, page three for your Streamlit application. And then you have a main Streamlit app. And then from your main Streamlit app, which is at home, if you click on say page one or page two, page three, it will go directly to those pages. And so I'll make a video about that shortly. But in the meantime, I would like to quickly release this video because I'm very excited to share this exciting hack to the UI of Streamlit. But one issue that I've encountered is that the sidebar is open at default here and it's apparently underneath the navigation bar. And so normally I would be able to click on it, click on the sidebar and then it will collapse. But then it's hidden underneath. And so if any of you can figure out how to relocate the sidebar to be slightly below the navigation bar so that we could click on it, please drop a comment in the comment section and share with us how you did it. And so this particular navigation bar makes use of the Streamlit red color that you would normally see on the main page of the Streamlit application that you would normally see on the Streamlit website. And so you could feel free to modify the color here. So let me show you. Let me open it up side by side. Let me close this one. So it's right here. Background color. You could change this to another background color. So let me go to HTML color, htmlcolorcodes.com. 
And let's say I want this blue color, copy this code, and then I'll paste it here. Save it, open up the app again, run it again. And then here you see the color is updated because if you reduce the width of the application, it will collapse and then it will have, okay. But a bug that I've encountered here is that when it collapsed to the collapsible button at the far right, it's impossible to click on it. So it doesn't work. So for this one, if you are able to figure out a hack to solve this particular issue, please drop your solution in the comment section as well. And so together we could solve this issue. And so I look forward to your help on this. And so for the color, you can feel free to play around with the different colors here, right? Like for example, if I want this color, I'll get the hex code here and then I'll just paste it here, save it. And then you get the updated navigation bar color. Okay. So when I reduce the size, okay, the sidebar disappears because the button is now right here, right? So if you're able to help me correct this error, we'll be able to activate the sidebar. Otherwise we have to reload it again and the sidebar will be reloaded at default. But when we collapse it, it'll be disappeared. Okay. And so I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if you're finding value in this video, please give the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey.